In this video, I'll be showing you how to do sidechain compression using LMMS. LMMS is a great music creation program, kind of like FL Studio, but free. I won't be going into the basics of LMMS, so it's helpful if you know the way around. I'll just be showing you sidechain compression. If you're not sure what sidechain compression is, here's an example of where it can be used. Right here I have a simple melody and a kick playing. <laughs> But as you can hear, the kick is overwhelming the melody, and the master volume in the FX channel is peaking out and getting a bunch of clipping. Sidechain compression is used to lower the volume of the lead during the kick. First way is with a peak controller. Click on the kick and change it to FX channel 1. Now click on the lead, change that to FX channel 2. Go to the FX channel 1, click add effect, and type in peak and we're going to select peak controller and over here the amount change this to about negative 0.3 this isn't going to do anything right now but this amount is going to tell how much the melody ducks out of the way of the kick to connect this controller right click on the volume slider of the leads FX channel go to connect to controller select user controller and make sure it's on controller 1 now when we play it you can hear it sounds kind of better because the volume is ducking out of the way of the kick and if you noticed this little volume slider goes down. You can go change the amount if you put it all the way down to negative one it's like really weird. <laughs> negative point three. This amount is really the only thing you need to worry about. There's also another way to do sidechain compression using a calf compressor. And I'm going to pan the kick all the way to the right and the lead all the way to the left. Now you need to make sure they're in the same effects channel this time. Doesn't matter what it's called so I'll just be using the same kick one. Go to add effect and here, you know, type in compress, or we're going for the Labs for Effect calf compressor. Click OK. Change this ratio over here to something around 10, and stereo link on. Now if I play this, you hear that the kick and lead are in separate channels, but it is kind of ducking out of the way. But to really hear what it's doing, type in stereo and go to stereophonic matrix. Now change all these dials to 0.5. This will make sure that all volume is coming out of both ears. You can also change the volume of the kick and it will still get out of the way of the lead. So that's the two ways to do sidechain compression. One interesting effect is you change these knobs left to left up to one, right to left to one, and these other two to zero. You will effectively remove the kick sound but still get it ducking out of the way. That's a kind of cool sound. You can also change the amplitude of the actual sample. So that's the sidechain compression in LMMS.